Okay. In the interest of public safety, we wanted to make sure we got information out to the public immediately on this. It's a, a pattern of rapes that have been occurring in the Oxford Circle section of the city. Uh, these rapes have occurred in the five-day period between October 15th and October 20th. Uh, we believe that the offender in both of these rapes is the same offender. Um, our first incident occurred on October 15th in the 1200 block of Elbridge Street. Our complainant's 18-year-old female. She just got off the bus at uh, Bustleton and Levick Street, the Route 14 bus, and she began walking west on Levick Street. When the offender came up behind her, put her in a chill call around her neck and drug her into an alleyway or driveway behind 1200 Elbridge Street, uh, where she was raped by the offender. The offender then took her cell phone and fled on foot. Our second incident, I'm sorry, she describes that male as a black male, 20 to 25 years of age, approximately five foot eight inches, dark complected, wearing a black hoodie. Second incident occurred Sunday, October 20th, at about 10.30 at night in the 6200 block of East Roosevelt Boulevard. Our complainant in this case is a 16-year-old female who also just got off the Route 14 bus at Bustle to Levick Street. She began to walk south on Roosevelt Boulevard when she was approached from behind by the offender who pulled her jacket over her head and also put her in a chill call. He then took her behind the apartment building uh, where she was also raped by the offender. The offender also demanded her cell phone and he fled on foot also. She describes this male as possibly a black male, heavy set, wearing gray sweatpants, white socks, and uh, black shoes. Um, like I said, we, we believe it's absolutely committed by the same offender. Um, I'm just asking anybody has any information at all on this. If they, we are, we did put a photo out already of the offender. Later on today, we're putting out a uh, Camtasia video uh, from both incidents showing our offender walking. It's pretty far away, but somebody may recognize him. We're just asking if anybody thinks they recognize him or has any information at all to contact us at Special Victims or call 686 TIPS. Yeah, since, since we're all going to be live on this as early as 4 o'clock, is there a way that you guys might be able to put a rush? We're doing that now. Yeah, we were out scouring the neighborhood the past couple of days looking for any video at all. Uh, we have recovered video, uh, but we're trying to put it all together now to put it out there in, in the hopes that somebody may recognize him. This Could male also. We're not sure. Um, our com our victims didn't think he was on the bus. It's difficult to tell. We're working with SEPTA now, pulling bus video. Uh, SEPTA is also pulling video from all their buses in the area in the hopes that it may have captured him on the street. Um, but we're not sure. We believe, we're working with the assumption now that he probably followed them after they got off the bus. The video, that the one picture you put out, are those, do you believe those are shoes or do they look, it's tough to tell if they're sneakers or if they almost look like sandals or socks. Slides. Yeah. Slides. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? They, you they do appear to be slides, yes. It's kind of distinctive. It's a little something to look for. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the victims are both uh, teenagers in the case? Victims are both teenagers, 16 and 18. They're both high school students. They both were returning home from work when they got off the bus. Captain, he makes the statement to the second victim, do not make any noise. Does he say anything you can share with us to, to the first victim, perhaps a, a statement or anything? No, not really. Just the second one. Uh, he says, don't make any noise. And he threatened them. Is there hope that there's any evidence left behind in the DNA? Well, we are. We've, we've each of them has received a uh, rape kit in hopes of recovering any forensic evidence. We have their clothing, and we went out looking for crime scenes also. We're looking for any video we possibly can to see if he's on there. I mean, we, we started from the point of the crime and worked our way out. So in the first incident, the, uh, the uh, DNA was not described as a heavy set male? Just a second? Yes. Yes. Captain, when he waits for the first victims to get off the bus at Muscleton and Levick. We believe. That's the assumption we're working with. We believe they were both following after they got off the bus stop at Muscleton and Levick. It's the same route bus. It's the same stop. So I think it's a reasonable assumption to think that they were followed from that bus stop. So he follows her for a good more than half a dozen blocks. On Elbridge Street? Yeah, that's quite a long way. Yes. Do you feel like there might be other victims out there? We're not sure. We're going back, looking at research and all our jobs now to see if anything matches that. 
So far, we haven't found any. So far, it's only the two. We're going to continue to look. Uh, we're just not sure. But, to, but we don't want we don't want any other victims, so we wanted to get it out there as quick as we possibly could. And they were both raped, right? Yes. Both. Um, Public Affairs earlier this morning said that you know they, they were hoping that this was received with some urgency. Yes. Because of what you just said. Exactly. About. Exactly. As soon as we saw the second job, we knew it was clear. It was crystal clear. It's the same offender. The MO is exactly the same. You know, it's it's the same individual committed both crimes. I'm convinced of that. So we want to make sure, and, and I believe he's following from the area of that bus stop. Because each of them went in different directions. One of them went west on Leverick Street, the other one went south. So I think, I think it's reasonable to assume maybe he, he's right there at the bus stop waiting for a victim. Is anybody out there driving on the boulevard that time of night, does anybody in the community can help? If anybody thinks they saw anything at all or has any information no matter how insignificant they may think it is calls calls here with that it may be very important we just don't know we just want to vet all the information we possibly can how far down the boulevard when the second accuser uh, left the bus how uh, specifically honestly i'm not sure i don't think it was that far down the boulevard i think a couple blocks a couple blocks, a couple blocks yeah yeah so, some prevention maybe the, the public are you urging the public maybe to to break this pattern of being alone, you know, get yeah, I get asked this all the time, and it's difficult. We're certainly not going to blame any victims here. No. Be clear on that, but you got to be careful. you got to be aware of your surroundings all the time. Everybody has to be aware of your surroundings. Just use some reasonable precautions. Don't get distracted on your cell phone. Don't wear earbuds. You can't hear who's coming up behind you. Uh, don't be texting. Uh, try to travel on a well-lit, well-traveled pathway if you can. If you can, you can't always try to travel with somebody else. This was pretty late at night. It was 10.30 at night and about midnight. It's late. So I'm not blaming anybody at all. You just got to be careful. You got to be careful, that's all. Are there any open cases that you can relate back to? Anything that sort of has a similar MO you believe that maybe this could be tied to? Just We were talking about this earlier. Yeah, so far we haven't found any. You know, We look at recent releases. Uh, we, we check everything, and we're going to continue to check. But so far, we have not found that. You know, so far, it's just these two incidents, but that's enough. Two jobs, clearly it's a pattern. It's a pattern. It's within five days of each other, so. Thanks, Kevin. Okay. Thank you. Bye.